hard to believe that half a century ago, Atlanta Fulton County Stadium was the center of the baseball world, where Hank Aaron hit home run number 715. We are honoring that accomplishment all evening long here at Truist Park, ahead of the Braves tilt against the New York Mets, first of a four game set. Let's get you out there to the field, where Kevin Krause will take you through a pregame ceremony celebrating 715. Go Braves! April 8th, 1974. Atlanta Braves immortal Hank Aaron surpassed Babe Ruth to become baseball's all-time home run champion. 50 years ago today, the sellout crowd of 53,775 packed into Atlanta Fulton County Stadium on a cold North Georgia night to watch the Braves legend break the most famous record in American sports. Hank Aaron embodies excellence, greatness, achieved with dignity, class, and decency. And he also embodies the idea of justice. He was just a black kid out in the wilderness, so to speak, who did not have an opportunity for a long time, but who built his skills by hitting with broom handles and sticks, ball top. He's one of the humblest superstars I ever met. I never heard him brag. I mean, not one time. You know, I mean, this guy trained uh, tirelessly. I, uh, I saw him just run around the gym with the medicine ball over and over and over. I have sit there and played with him for as many years as I did. I thank God for every moment of it. I wouldn't trade it for nothing. With Hank, it was just uh, about the giving, the using his platform for really good things and doing a lot of really good for a lot of people. Definitely in the community I come from, I mean, all you'll hear is, is Hank Aaron and how he kind of paved the way for players like me. And being able to hit that many home runs is is pretty, pretty insane. He's kind of the Atlanta Braves. Like, that's that's who I think of when I think about the Braves. To the greatest ball player, the finest gentleman, Mr. Hank Aaron. Hank Aaron was the smartest player I ever been around. And Aaron was quiet, unassuming. Hank Aaron was a great friend. Well, the gift from God. Hank Aaron was a Mount Rushmore baseball player and also a symbol of civil rights and justice. He was that kind of an iconic figure. An American treasure. Yeah, everybody talk about him as a fabulous ball player, but he was even a better human being. He treated everyone as they deserve to be treated. And he'll always be remembered not just for his greatness as a player, but as a civil rights hero. During the season, we had struggled with the hate and all of the things that came with that. I used to see all the death threats and all the hate fan mail, you know, that he used to get. There was blatant racism then, and Henry Aaron felt the brunt of it as a baseball player. Henry Aaron paved the way for all kinds of ball players. He embraced everybody in the game of baseball. Henry Aaron is different. It wasn't just the home runs, it was the consistency of, I think, I don't think he ever hit over 44 home runs, but he had 44 a whole bunch of times, that was his number, 44. Time after time, season after season, consistent excellence. When he got to the ballpark, you never would know that he was chasing Babe Ruth record. He was not really so caught up with trying to break Babe Ruth's record as he was trying to be the best baseball player that Henry Aaron could be. Seven fifteen was a milestone baseball moment. Seven fifteen went worldwide. Was a major achievement. One of the greatest moment in history. We knew he was going to break the record. I mean, that was like, it was just a matter of when. I was sitting in the box with Henry's immediate family, and the anxiety was about to overtake me. I was so eager for him to get that home run. We were all getting ready. It, it's going to happen now. It's going to happen. He'd hit a ball, I think, in Cincinnati or something. And I uh, thought it was a home run. He told me, babe, blew it back. 
you know. <laughs> and you know, anything he tell me, I was okay, Hank, I guess he did, so. <laughs> I don't think he was nervous, but he, he, he may just have been showing it differently. I just think he was more determined. Once again, a standing ovation for Henry Aaron. I came to the ball ball to we had a meeting. Hank told me he's going to get it over with right, right then. He says, I'm tired of this. When Henry Aaron told you something, you could take it to the bank. He means the tying run at the plate now. Sitting on 7-14. One ball and no strike. Aaron waiting. The outfield deep and straight away. I remember it was cold. It was unseasonably cold. It was the coldest I've ever been in Atlanta and April. He walked up to the plate, and he did what he often does, and just the cap. On April 8th, 1974, the king was crowned and deservedly slow. You know, I mean, now I look back, it's 50 years ago, I mean. The black man is getting a standing ovation in the Deep South for breaking a record of an all-time baseball idol. I was sort of out on the edge that, and then when he hit it, that was everything. Yeah, I was on deck, and, uh, you know, I could have been the first one run up there. And, and I, you know, but I, you know, to me, that was Hank's moment. And then they stopped the game, and then his whole family came down. I had to bend down because he was on the ground. I just said, I, oh, I love you. I love you. It's happened. It's happened. He said, we did it. That was, we did it, and we just embraced. You see how his mother ran out there and hugged him, and boy, she liked to square through the depth. That was a beautiful picture to me. The game was delayed maybe 15, 20 minutes. And uh, all of a sudden, I hear, like, clank, clank, clank. And I'm like, what's that noise? So I turn around, and everybody's leaving. <laughs> it was cold. I tell you, it was cold. There's no way to explain what that meant for the game of baseball. And now, 50 years later, who Henry Aaron was, what he did, and how he did it echoes down the corridors of time. Babe was a bad dude, but, you know, Hank was better. And it's a marvelous, wonderful, enjoyable moment here in Atlanta. Hank Aaron, the home run king. The home run king. Hank Aaron, the home run king. The home run king. He's my home run king. The 715 baseball signs displayed in the outfield are carried by Atlanta Braves A-list members and represent each home run Hank Aaron hit, as well as the date he hit it leading up to that moment. And the 44 Batgirls lining the baselines are a nod to the opening day ceremonies held at Fulton County Stadium that historic day 50 years ago. The Atlanta Braves are proud to have in attendance at tonight's game alumni from the 1974 Atlanta Braves who were Hank Aaron's teammates and part of that historic night. Please welcome Dusty Baker, Ralph Gar, Tom House, Marty Perez, Ron Reed, Roland Office. Craig Robinson, John Fuller, Larvell Blanks, and Buzz Capra. The Atlanta Braves are also honored to have Hank's wife, Billy Aaron, with us tonight. Tonight, the Braves are privileged to announce by the unanimous consent of the Georgia General Assembly 
as well as by proclamation of Governor Brian Kemp. April 8th, 2024 has been named Henry Lewis Aaron Day in the state of Georgia. At this time, Governor Kemp, joined by Atlanta Braves Chairman Terry McGurk, are presenting the proclamation to Mrs. Aaron. The proclamation reads in part, on the occasion of the 50th anniversary of his momentous achievement, the state of Georgia recognizes Henry Lewis Aaron for the profound impact he had on our state, the nation, and the world. With one swing of the bat, Hank inspired everyone to overcome hatred, division, and prejudice, and to accomplish things that no one ever thought possible. On behalf of baseball, the Atlanta Braves thank Governor Kemp and the Georgia General Assembly for this well-deserved and prestigious honor. The legend of Hank Aaron is much larger than the borders of Braves country. It transcends throughout all of baseball. In 1999, Major League Baseball introduced the Hank Aaron Award to honor the career achievements of one of the greatest baseball players of all time. It is a prestigious award that is given annually to the best overall offensive performer in each league. The award recognizes players who demonstrate outstanding offensive skills, such as hitting for average, power, and consistency. It is a highly regarded accolade and serves as a tribute to the legacy and impact of Hank Aaron in the sport of baseball. To celebrate the 50th anniversary, we have some past recipients of the Hank Aaron Award with us tonight. Please welcome the 2005 Hank Aaron Award winner, Andrew Jones. Receiving the award in 2006, Ryan Howard. And last year's Hank Aaron Award winner, Ronald Acuna Jr. Following Hank Aaron's passing in 2021, the Atlanta Braves, Major League Baseball, and the Major League Baseball Players Association created the Henry Lewis Aaron Fund to impact the future of baseball by investing in those who are following in his footsteps, on the field, and in the front office. Operated by the Atlanta Braves Foundation, the Henry Lewis Aaron Fund supports projects that enable increased representation in the game at all levels events that showcase young talent from underrepresented communities and career development opportunities for future minority business leaders tonight delta airlines is presenting a check to the henry lewis aaron fund in the amount of one hundred fifty thousand dollars Presenting the check on behalf of Delta is Rashad Hanna and Chase Woodfin. Accepting on behalf of the Henry Lewis Aaron Fund is Braves Foundation Executive Director, Danielle Bedesi, and Braves Foundation Board Member and Advisory Board Member of the Henry Lewis Aaron Fund, Ron Gaither. If you'd like to support Hank's legacy and contribute to the Henry Lewis Aaron Fund tonight, simply take out your phone and scan the QR code on the video board in left field now to make your donation. The Atlanta Braves thank you in advance. It's time now for the Atlanta Braves ceremonial first pitch tonight. Hank's great-grandson, King Aaron, will throw out the ceremonial first ball. Let's give King Aaron a big hand.
In honor of the 50th anniversary of Hank Aaron breaking the home run record, we would like to honor the fans who were in attendance at that historic game 50 years ago. If you were at the game when Hammer and Hank became the home run king on April 8th, 1974, please stand. Once again, will all those in attendance who were at the game that Hank Aaron hit home run number 715, please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remove your hats. To honor America, join in the singing of our national... Trevor Skills, Pete Boyle, and Nick Green here with you outside.